if we look at the resources that humanity uses today, uh, the footprint, the ecological footprint of uh, the human race exceeds the carrying capacity of the planet Earth by 50% already. By 2030, we will need the equivalent of two planets Earth to support our collective lifestyles. At the same time, if you look at how this consumption is structured, the top uh, 1 to 2 percent of the world's population own as much wealth as the remaining 98 or 99 percent. So there's tremendous inequality. The rich are the ones who are consuming the most. And the third point is that yet, at meeting after meeting, we find world leaders getting up and promising the Millennium Development Goals, now the 17 Sustainable Development Goals, that they will raise the poor out of poverty. Now the key question is, if you do your arithmetic, the rich on the planet are already consuming more than one planet's worth. Where are the resources to raise the poor out of poverty? Um, in 1992, uh, I proposed a framework at the Rio Earth Summit uh, based on a framework called Sustainomics in which we looked at the consumption patterns of the rich, the consumption patterns of the poor and those who are in between. Now, there is a multiple agreement that has to be reached. It's uh, most obvious in the case of climate change that those who have emitted the most in the past and who are emitting the most today, in other words, the rich um, people, have to agree to reduce their emissions and other forms of consumption. And they can do this very nicely. They can maintain a very good quality of life. We have the technologies to uh, consume and produce more frugal. So that is for the rich. For the very poor, there is no question of cutting back. They have to be raised out of poverty because they are at a subsistence level and they are dying by the tens of thousands, including children. So the question is how do you raise the poor out of poverty but not along the same profligate curve as the rich in the past. In other words, 7 billion people on the planet cannot live the lifestyle of North America. There are not enough resources. But fortunately, we know the technologies of production and consumption such that we can raise the poor out of poverty along a lower consumption curve and achieve a very good lifestyle. So this is what we need to do and um, the issue today is how do we get there?